Hello, so uh, today I will be showing you how I make my cute little plushy bunny ears that I have made. It's um, quite quite simple. I would say it's a beginner-ish craft. Um, of course, you will need a sewing machine and stuff like that, but the outcome is... I mean, I personally really like it. It's definitely not for everyone. It kind of depends on what look you're going for, honestly. Um, of course, I'll be starting off making the outlines and just kind of drawing some sketches as well as just folding them so I have an idea of what it will look like once I actually sew it together. Um, I made this one and it kind of, it wasn't uh, as chunky as I would like, so I actually used that pattern to sketch out a new one. And the new one, it's going to be a little thicker. Little, come here. Come here. My, uh, my cat wants to join me underneath the piles of blankets that I have while I'm recording this. Turtle, come here. Come here. Come into my layer of blankets. Yes, come here. I'm swallowing you now. Okay. There you go. If you hear, uh, moving, it's my cat. Uh, she wants to join me while I record, apparently. Once I have the desired shape I want, I'm going to start marking all of the creases so I know exactly where I want to, you know, start building everything up. This will just give me a general idea of all of the folds and, you know, what I need to consider into my final project. Now, of course, when you fold it, it's not actually going to have a flat bottom, so I'm going to take some more pieces of paper and just taking those to level at the bottom. I don't really know how to explain it, so uh, yes, I'm just taping it together so it looks better, basically. Turtle, stop hitting my mic with your tail. Okay, get out. Get out. <laughs> Go. Shoo. Okay, you're staying. Okay. Uh, for anyone wondering, uh, my setup right now is I'm on my bed uh, with a very thick, heavy blanket, and then a sheet double folded on top of me to try and get the quietest that I can. I am sweating so bad, and then my turtle is, uh, my, sorry, my cat tried to walk on top of the fortress to come and cuddle with me because she's like, where did you go? So now me and turtle are uh, cuddling underneath this extremely hot setup that I have. Um, but anyways, this is where, that's, yep, that's how it looks. Yep, I don't know how to explain it, it's just, you know, it vibes. Look, it looks so much nicer now. You just gotta trim the edges, and it looks nice, heck yeah. So what I ended up doing is I remembered that uh, there's actually two colors for bunny ears, or at least one that I wanted to make. So I'm actually going to take that uh, first pattern that I made that's a little thinner, and I'm just going to put it inside of the thicker one. So the inside one, the smaller one will be the pink one, and then the outside one will be the one that I already shaped and folded up. It's so warm in here. Oh my god. I'm sweating. <laughs> so uh, I'll write the measurements on the screen here, um, but there, there you go. That's how big mine is. You kind of just want to play around with uh, whatever measurements fits your head uh, right, but that's about um, my measurements. Um, I have a tiny head, so I don't know, but whatever works for your head, I guess, <laughs> or how big you want to go. <laughs> Anyways. Um, now I'm going to be actually cutting out the amount of fabric that I want because I didn't actually have pink fur and I wanted it to be the same type of fabric. So I got some, uh, uh I actually used a blanket, um, it's a fuzzy blanket and I'm going to cut it up and then I'm going to dye it with some fabric dye. So it is a nice pink color. Of course it is way easier to just dry the proper <laughs> fabric. I just, I like to make things difficult for myself. So, also, uh, this is Turtle, the one that's joining me under here. Also, my glasses are starting to fog up because of how hot it is in here. 
Yes. Um, so normally you would want to use a pot, but I didn't want to dye any of my pots because I didn't- oh, That's Joey, by the way. Um, I didn't want to stain any of the pots because I'm not the only one in the house. So, um, yeah, uh, I have this, uh, this fabric dye, uh, yeah, um, I didn't really look at the bottle. I was just like, I don't know, uh, I'm just gonna pour just all of it in there. <laughs> you know, some more for good taste. Um, I, <laughs> yes, um, of course I'm using my, uh, beautiful Menchi spoon from probably two years ago, or three years ago, to stir it. So, uh, yep, just, mm, yes, the blood of my enemies. Um, I saw somewhere that you can, uh, you know, uh, test how dark it is, and mm, yes, it's very dark, but I'm like, you know what, it's fine. So, uh, I'm just, oh, that's really dark. Um, <laughs> so I'm just gonna, uh, put it all in there, um, you know, mildly regret what I'm doing, because I've never dyed fabric before, and yeah, so you just gotta submerge it, and, uh, I, mm, you know, at this point, I was thinking, why am I doing this? It is, like, 3 a.m., and I am trying to be quiet, but I'm also filming, and, uh, my fabric does not look good at all, so, uh, yep, yeah. um, uh, how I poured my- uh, bleh, how I, uh, made my water is I just boiled it in my kettle. Um, also, at this point, um, I realized I was wearing my boyfriend's hoodie, and I didn't want to stain it, so I just took all my clothes off. So, uh, here's a picture of, uh, Haru, the person I'm cosplaying with this. Anyways, now I'm just gonna, um, dump it out in the sink. Um, at this point it was still, uh, very, very hot, so I couldn't really touch it, and I was just crying inside, because I was just like, well, you know, and I was also just like, what if I stay in the sink, you know? Um, and like a dumbass that I am, I did. So, might want to think about that, because, uh, I was rinsing it, and then I was like, oh wait, it's not really coming off the, the creases. So, uh, I, yeah, it was not coming off. I tried scraping it, trust me, I really did. I have no excuses for this. I really don't, it just kind of happened, and I still haven't told my parents that this happened, so if they ever watch this, uh, hi. Um, <laughs> this is, this is what it's like after I washed it. Um, also keep in mind I dyed it for probably like five to ten minutes, so not that long. Yeah, but uh, it looked actually pretty decent, so uh, you know, I just hung it up on this weird wire that is on my ceiling. I still don't know what it's connected to. I don't know. Anyways, now that I'm in a completely different city and house, I am going to continue making my ears. Um, I found this blue sharpie on the floor. I didn't really know what to use, so I just kind of grabbed it and started tracing it. So now I'm going to use these really terrible scissors that are so dull to cut this out. I literally spent probably an hour or two just cutting fabric, I'm not even kidding. It was so painful. Um, I'm going to repeat this for the white pieces too, except for the white pieces I will be using uh, four pieces? Does that make sense? I traced out four pieces. And I used them for the ears. Um, also, uh, please get proper scissors. This was so painful. I can't even describe it. My boyfriend was in the room while I was filming this, and, you know, I tried multiple different scissors, nothing worked, and I just, I literally, I, <laughs> I almost just, like, gave up, and I was just like, you know what, I can just do this tomorrow, but I was like, no, I should probably finish it tonight, because I plan on cosplaying harder tomorrow. Anyways, uh, yeah. Now I'm gonna line up all the fabrics together, um, all the pieces look the same so it's kinda hard, but, uh, if you try and keep track, it's a little easier. Um, 
for one of the white pieces I'll be marking about the halfway point or like wherever the, the top of the pink one is and the bottom of it and then just uh, slicing it right down the middle because yes just oh I can't with the scissors even just watching this is giving me flashbacks of how terrible it was so now that you have both of those um, I kind of just put it on the back piece so there's gonna be a front piece and a back piece the front piece is the one cut in half and the back piece is the not one cut in half uh, yes <laughs> anyways now you're gonna want to pin the sides together um, you can kind of really pin them however you like uh, for me personally I just kind of pinned it and you know I I don't know I usually I try <sighs> I don't know how to explain pinning you just kind of pin it to the white fabric and then it's pinned together and then you know where to stitch um, but depending on how you pin it uh, will depend on how much pink is showing Um, so this is the kind of how the two look. Uh, the left one is where I made more white show and the right one is where I made less white show. I uh, chose to go with the right one with the more pink because I preferred it. So I'll just be sewing that. Um, I don't know, just kind of sew along it. Um, I would assume if you're sewing this then you would have used a sewing machine at least once before. Um, if you have not, uh, maybe hand stitch it or just uh, I don't know. I guess you could uh, glue it together. I would not recommend it, but I've never tried it, so I don't know if it actually works or not. But, I mean, I guess whatever holds the fabric together. I know uh, I really like watching people sew, so uh, I'm just gonna leave some of the sewing portions in. Uh, so you can just relax and vibe for a bit. So once you have that, you can- what am I talking about? I think I was talking to my boyfriend. I talk with my hands, so you can tell that I'm talking. Anyway, <laughs> you can go ahead and just snip off all of the excess. Again, use proper scissors. I can't stress this enough. I- l <laughs> uh, So once those are all uh, cut up, they look actually really nice. So now you're gonna grab the back pieces and just kind of line them up. Um, I would recommend pinning them. I guess you don't really have to pin them. I just prefer to. And then you can just uh, sew those all together. Okay, I know sewing time was vibe time, but I'm literally- there's drops of sweat <laughs> going down the back of my neck. And I have knitted blankets, like, on my bed, and the sweat on my hands is making it all stick to me. Like, the little fluff balls that come off of knitted things. And I'm just not having a good time right now. I am so sweaty. I- <laughs> I really need to find a better way to record because this is not how I want to be spending my night. Um, I'm just going to pretend that it's uh, not 2 10 a.m. Uh, but you know what? You got to spend your night somehow during quarantine. Um, of course, while stitching them, um, you got to leave the bottom open, otherwise you can't flip it. Uh, this is how it looks. Um, I quite liked how it looked. It yeah, it looks like ears. Um, okay, so this part was a real pain, but I promise it's worth it. 
I think. I still don't understand if it's worth it or not. Anyways, um, I have this weird, like, gardening wire I got from Michaels, like, six years ago. Um, anyways, uh, it's very pokey, and I'll come back to that later. Anyways, you'll want to create kind of an outline for your ears with it, and this will create a nice little base for it. Um, this way you can, like, reshape it. It's also good for, uh, traveling. If you need to pack it up for cons or whatever, then you can just roll up the ears, pack it, unroll them, and then you're good, and you can just reshape it. So, um, this wire is pretty thin, so I went around and, um, uh, wrapped another wire around all of it so it'd be more stable. Um, I also added a little stick in the middle. Uh, that'll just be the backbone, uh, of it so the, you know, so it'll go in the ear. I don't know how to explain it. I'm pro- you probably know what I'm talking about. If you don't, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, again, uh, you'll be trimming the excess and, uh, yeah, I cut it straight across. I don't know why all that patterning, I guess, was for nothing. But it- I don't know. I don't know. So, uh, you'll want to put it in. And, uh, this is- yeah, um, also, during the entire process of me doing that wiring, it kept stabbing me in the face. And I am so glad I have glasses because it would have punctured me in the eye multiple times if I was wearing glasses. So, uh, actually be safe. Also, use some sort of gloves or something because my hands were raw after that. Um, also, anchor your thread. There were so many times where I was, like, sewing and I didn't anchor my thread. And then... <laughs> Um, what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of, uh, putting knots all over the ears just so the fabric kind of stays in place so it doesn't move around freely with the wire inside. This also helps the ear actually, um, be maneuvered properly and so when you shape it you don't have to worry about the fabric not going with it because it's literally sewn to it. Oh, why am I- I am drenched in sweat. I already had a shower today. Ugh. Did I put deodorant on? I don't know if I put deodorant on, but oh, that's a huge drop of sweat. Oh, that's so gross. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> I really should have brought a towel or something. I am literally just- melting. There are huge drops of sweat going right down m the back of my neck. It is so disgusting. <laughs> I'm not enjoying myself under here. It's just getting worse and worse. So this is uh, how it kind of looks after. Um, I was pretty happy with it. It's nice and fluffy and you know I you know I just really liked it. Um, I also forgot to mention that you're going to want to keep some excess hanging out at the bottom just so you can wrap it around your headband. Uh, now you're going to want to take the bottom of it and you're going to want to fold it in like how the pattern was. So it actually just kind of, you know, it looks really nice. I also don't know how to show things on camera, so you're welcome for that. Uh, but you're just kind of want to sew the whole bottom shut. So now you're just gonna want to wrap the wire around the actual headband. Uh, make sure you kind of try it on every once in a while just to make sure- What is happening here? Apparently somebody gave me a hug. I don't remember what was happening. Anyways, you're gonna want to- You're gonna want to wrap it around the headband. Uh, trying it on every once in a while just so, um, you know, it's on on the right place and that it looks good. Although you can also, uh, always just adjust it later, I guess, if you want. Um, also another thing I want to point out is you want to try and, uh, wrap it so the wires aren't sticking into your head, um, cause, you know, when you try it on and it stabs you in the head, it's not a very nice feeling, so you kind of want to work with it and try and just, you know, if you need to cut it, that's fine, just kind of make sure that it's not stabbing you, cause that's not comfortable. Um, I hope this tutorial kind of helped you. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing in any of my cosplay projects. 
so don't mind me. Um, but you can learn from my mistakes and actually probably produce something way better than this. But uh, I hope this gives you somewhat of an idea. If you're making bunny ears, if you followed this tutorial, let me know how badly it turned out. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know how to end it, so uh, bye. Fucking roll McDonald's! <laughs>